polyphon God is from your heart. When your heart is in the right place, when you're a broken sinner, when you say, I can't save myself, my works can't save me, you call out to God, your heart is in the right place. You say to God, you know, I can't save myself, my works can't save me, my self-righteousness can't save me, God, please save me. It's that simple. You know, I was an atheist before I got saved, before God saved me, I was an atheist. Then I was a professing Christian, I was a false convert. And the, the night I got saved, I came to God and said, you know, I, I'm just a, a dirty, rotten piece of filth, you know, please save me. It's that simple. When your heart is in the right place, when your heart has contrition, you have godly sorrow for your sins, 2 Corinthians 7, 8 to 10, you know, you just come to, it's, it just is a natural reaction. You know, God, please save me. You know, I can't save myself. I'm just a, a dirty, rotten sinner that, that is, you know, just please save me, God. It's that simple. Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Okay? Again, when your heart is in the right place, you'll call it to God. Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. Good parable right here about calling upon God to save you, because you can't save yourself. So, you have to call upon God to save you. You know, it's like, I'll give, it, give an example here. I know Brian gave this example, but you break your leg, and you say, I need help, call the ambulance. Oh no, just believe the ambulance. Uh, no, you call the ambulance to come help you. Okay? When you're a broken sinner, because Jesus Christ came to call sinners to repentance, he came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, Mark 2, 17, um, you call upon God. You, you, come, you believe, obviously you believe the gospel, but death, burial, and resurrection, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, and then you call upon God, God, please save me. Okay? It's like with the paramedics, you don't believe that you believe they can save you, so you call upon them. It's that simple. You don't just believe in, you know, I believe they're gonna get here soon, I'm not gonna call. Ridiculous. Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. And he spake this parable and certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. They are self-righteous, they are prideful. Two men went up to pray, or went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee, the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee, that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as is publican here. You know, filled with self-righteousness, he was filled with pride. That's what Pharisees are, they're filled with pride. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I, all, all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up his voice so much, or sorry, would not lift up his so much as eyes unto heaven, but smote his upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. He humbled himself. He called upon God to be merciful to him, a sinner. That can't save himself, a sinner saved by grace. I tell you that this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. You see, when you humble yourself, when your heart is in the right place, again, out of the abundance of the heart that thou speaketh, you'll come to God and say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. It's not work salvation, it's biblical salvation. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10. And keep in mind, and remember, out of the abundance of the heart that thou speaketh. Okay? God be merciful to me, a sinner. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. That thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, God be merciful to me, a sinner, and shalt believe in thine heart, you know, out of the abundance of the heart that thou speaketh, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For, uh, from, for, sorry, for with the heart man believeth on the righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. When your heart is in contrition, and went in godly sorrow, you know, out of, your, out of the abundance of your heart, you're going to confess Jesus Christ, and believe that God raised him from the dead. Sorry, I had something in my eye. It's that simple. It's biblical salvation. You come to God, I can't save myself, my works can't save me, my self-righteousness can't save me, I can't earn heaven. Please save me. I believe. I, I put my faith in your death, burial, and resurrection on the cross. You know, I, I, I accept, you know, I believe the gospel. Please save me. You know, it, it's it's that simple. It, it's people try to overcomplicate it. It's not that it's not complicated, it's not work salvation, it's not it's not putting your trusting in the calling out. No. You believe the gospel, okay? You call upon God. He'll save you. So how to clear that thing up? Out of the abundance of the heart, the most speaketh. God be merciful to me, a sinner. You know, with the heart, uh, what does it say? Uh, with the heart, man believeth on the righteousness. It's it, it, it's just so simple. So, uh, don't be deceived by this heresy that calling upon God is work salvation. It's it is works. I mean, it's right. It's 
I'll, I'll say, okay, I'll say it this way. Calling upon God is not work salvation. Because if calling upon God is work salvation, that also will mean believing it's work salvation too. Because it's you having to do something. So if calling upon God is work salvation, what does that make belief? You know? It's biblical salvation. It's not work salvation. I, I almost said work salvation there. Sorry. I mean, I was meaning to say it's not work salvation. Sorry, just... I, still, I, I guarantee you the enemies and, and the trolls are going to take that and say, See, he says it's not work salvation. You know, it's a mistake I made. A little tiny mistake, okay? We all make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I'm not infallible. So, just <laughs> ridiculous. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Goodbye. Thank you.